Hey guys, Phantom Null here again, and it is raining freaking cats and dogs outside, but that's neither here nor there. Today, we are going to be grinding for the final boss in Rogue Legacy. Uh, we are going to try to make something good happen, get some upgrades, uh, hopefully get some new equipment from fairy chests, and, uh, you know, if with any luck, we'll be able to take down the final boss today. Uh, though, with that said, I'm not sure the luck will be on my side, so we'll see. Uh, we have a Barbarian King, he's an Ectomorph, which I don't like that much. Nostalgic is kind of also not something I like very much. EDS is not bad, I don't actually know what EDS does, to be honest, but, uh, you know. Uh, dwarfism is actually something that I've been hoping to find, just so I can slip in some hidden rooms. So we might go with Lady Teresa, and just try to find some new treasure, or, uh, not new treasure chests, but some fairy chests with her. Uh, Barbarian Queen, or no, the par Paladin, yeah, yeah, definitely go with the Paladin. And this is, again, going to be a farming run. It's not going to be me trying to take down the boss. Uh, we are going to get the trait that will randomize our children, uh, so we push X now to randomize them. So if we want to do boss runs, that will be extremely handy, uh, at least if it works the way that I think it does. So we've now unlocked the entire skill tree of the manor. Uh, we have at least one point in everything, so uh, that means that, you know, there's nothing else to be unlocked, so we can kind of just focus on what we want. I do think that I'm going to need to get some uh, upgraded in our equipment load. Uh, probably also going to need to increase our armor, our health, and our attack power a bit. For now... Actually, let's take a look at our equipment. I don't remember if we got anything good last time. Uh, what is this over here? An Imperial Helm. Uh, not something that I really need to worry about, like, at all, honestly, uh, because mana really isn't a big deal to me, to be honest. I'm more of a melee-based uh, character, uh, generally almost all the time. We have Guardian Limbs, which is pretty awesome, actually. That increases our magic and armor, but we need 45 weight to carry them, so that is not going to happen anytime soon. And this Ranger Cape is pretty cool as well with the plus 4% critical chance and 15% critical damage. But again, another 40 weight. Um, definitely the priority of what we have right now. I would like Guardian Limbs. But we'd have to increase equipment load 5 times, which I don't think we can do. Either way, we're going to need to do that a lot. So let's just throw all our money into that for now. I don't think we're going to be able to afford anything now that we had done that. Uh, actually, it wasn't the helm, was it? Oh, wait, it was the helm. No, it wasn't. It was the... Yeah, 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 okay. Oh, we can afford this! Then that's a no-brainer. And now we have even better armor, substantially. 18 armor is huge! Uh, consider that, you know, one point of that would normally take us, uh, you know, just... Actually, I don't remember how much it costs, but, you know, um, it, it would take a lot of gold to upgrade it even to one point. Uh, we are not going to the final boss, we are going to go through the castle. So being a dwarf uh, kind of sucks for your range. It makes it harder to hit your enemies, but... Oops. Didn't see that coming. Uh, but subsequently, uh, of course, you're also harder to hit. The problem being, of course, that you generally need to get into position to attack your enemies rather than the other way around. Uh, it isn't often that you can just kind of stand there and wait for the enemies to come to you and for you to gauge your timing to take them down. Okay, we got these guys without any big problem. I do wish that we had a Spelunker. That would kind of be the uh, idle situation for me. Running a uh, a farm run. The absolute... Well, that was a real bad chest. But what I would like above all would be a Spelunker that is a dwarf like this uh, that also had Flame Barrier. Because at that point, there's hardly a chest that I think we would be incapable of getting. Oh, jeez, this. Okay, we are gonna be... We are a dwarf, so we are harder to hit. So let's just take our time. Jump. And get it. Got it. We got a sprint room. Okay, how is that different from a haste room? I have no idea, but that's cool. And go. Okay, so we didn't take any damage going in or out. So that's just fantastic. Uh, now let's go up here to the left side. I'm hoping we can find either a mini-boss or some more fairy chest rooms. 
in this area just to be able to get uh, some more runes, really, uh, because I do know there are more runes to get. We're just getting terrible gold drops from those chests right now, though. Really poor. Oops. Let's take out this zombie. Another chandelier, this urn, and now we go up. So this is going to be the entrance to the Maya, which I don't know why I bother getting that turkey leg right now, but uh, let's take out one or two enemies. Along with this mimic over here. Okay, he hit me, even though I totally thought I slashed him. That is, in fact, a chest, so let's get that. First, we're going to take out this pyrite. Dang you. Get this. The gold is ours. How about this? Okay, that is a bit of gold. And I got myself hit dumbly there, uh, but that's not a problem because we're going to the Maya third. We're going to go in the order, uh, you know, that you generally would uh, enter the areas. We're going to start out here in the uh, castle, of course. That was really stupid. Uh, then we're going to go to the forest, uh, and after that we will proceed to the Maya. And I got hit again. Use those invulnerabil invulnerability frames, though. Take advantage of the situation. The gold drops are just super poor for the time being. And... Oh, actually... Oh, wait, no, that's the Maya. That's the Maya. That's the Maya. So, in that case, we will go this way. Up here. Take care of that guy. And this eyeball. You know, knock over these candlesticks. Uh, I mean, gold is our... the thing we want above all. Um, though there is a point where maybe I should worry about... Oh, God. Uh, that I should worry about going to the Land of Darkness and just trying to get fairy chests and such there. Okay, we did take out one of those guys. These have got to be, like, the hardest mini-bosses that I know of in the game. Like, they are just insane. But we did beat them. Uh, we got a Blood Helm, which is, like, the first Tier 1, or the last bit of Tier 1 equipment uh, that we were missing, I want to say. I could be wrong, but... Uh, if there's more we're missing, it is not much, I believe. Oh wait, there's a candlestick and a table over here. Naturally, as you would do in real life, let's bash those apart. Holy crap, it is raining. That was a huge thing of thunder. I can hear it, uh, and, you know, feel it shaking my body, even though I have headphones on and the music is rather loud. Oh god. Yeah, that was inevitable, unless I was either a Hokage or had a haste rune, and therefore uh, would have been faster than them. As is, God, the thunder outside. Holy cow! Makes me feel like I should shut down my computer. But I just started streaming. Ow! This is really bad. I'm not. I'm not doing well at all. I need some turkey legs to turn this around. We have a good bit of health, but uh, I mean max health, but we've lost a lot uh, down there. But let's go this way first. There's a fountain. Let's use it because we need the HP. We got another turkey leg, that's great. Let's just dodge this guy. Take out this urn and these barrels. We got 15 gold. And another 15. There is more thunder outside, which I have to imagine you can even hear uh, through my headset. But I don't know for sure. All I know is I can sure hear. We're level 93! That is pretty substantial. Okay, so we do need to go down. I'm glad, though, because that means that we basically managed to explore all the areas that we went to first, leaving the proper way to go for last. Which, you know, I definitely like to explore thoroughly uh, on these kinds of runs, in particular. This is a very easy room. We have a Doomscape here. Ah! Come on. And get him. Perfect. Are you a fake? You're not. Okay. Okay, let's shock him, this guy. There we go. It's nice when these mini-bosses are low-level like you are, uh, because it really gives you a lot of room to screw up, and Lord knows that I need it. Uh, maybe I should have saved that, but then again, I wouldn't come back here later and, um, later on, even if I was on low on health, so honestly, it's probably good that we just uh, went ahead and got it now, even though we didn't get much HP for it. We got a little bit. Uh, there is a hidden passage here, which will lead to a chest this way. 
Got a bit more gold. We're at 4,000 now, which is, you know, hardly amazing. Uh, I would like to get up to 8,000 to even call it a good run, or a decent run, really, at this point. Um, but, you know, past that, towards ten the 10,000 mark, which is, you know, kind of at the point where I'm like, yeah, that's a good run. Like, a really good run. Uh, you know, that would be great. And I do think we're, that we're capable of that. So long as we can uh, get through the the manor and the forest, which, you know, I certainly should be able to at this point without too many problems. As Unless we just run into a really horrible string of rooms. And, uh, you know, we make our way into the Maya, though, uh, because the Maya should be a place that we can get to reliably, uh, for sure, at this point, at level 93. If we can't, then we're basically not doing good things very well. We are not going to pray for assistance, because we don't need it at all, and I do not want to risk getting a Hedgehog Curse. Let's get this gold, and go back again. No problem. And that was down here, uh, which I totally didn't notice before now, but that's okay. Oh, that's less okay. And down here. Thankfully, you know, we've got a lot of armor now, so that really didn't do much damage to us. Oh, there's a path down here. So let's just go in here first. Take out these guys, this portrait, and this rocket launcher. Chandelier for the road. And this is a very simple room. I anticipate we are about to reach the forest. Indeed we are. Why did I get that chicken leg? Uh, I should have saved that for the return trip. But we do have a path up there, which I want to check before we go this way, actually. Just to be thorough, uh, because inevitably I would forget it if I you know, didn't go to it now. Or it's very possible at the very least. Ow, that hurt. These rooms are really annoying, and, uh, you know, they're not, like, the hardest in the world by any stretch, but they can be tricky. I can't get that fake portrait because he's just out of my reach, and I'm a dwarf. Uh, besides, it's just too low for me to hit. There's some more thunder, which, again, have to imagine you can hear. We're getting a little bit of health per kill. Not much, but 2 HP, you know, better than none, that's for sure. We're not wearing any, uh, blood gear. Which is, you know, I mean, at this point we shouldn't be wearing blood gear, really, because, uh, you know, we need higher armor and such. Okay, we'll take him down, get that bit of gold, and now we will head to the forest, because we have covered the entirety of the castle. We only got 5,200 gold uh, for the manor, which isn't that great, considering all our gold bonuses, but I think we got several really bad chests, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, maybe we'll get some better chests on the forest? You're so hoping. I certainly hope so. Uh, because I also think that, you know, as you go further in, you have a higher chance of getting lots of gold um, from chests. And uh, I don't think your likelihood for enemies to drop gold increases, but the amount of gold that they drop increases. So, you know, there's a sort of risk-reward scenario for uh, going to more dangerous areas for sure. But at the same time, I mean, you can accumulate 5,000-ish gold, uh, you know, just for doing the castle. So... Uh, when you're, you're farming, why wouldn't you? Um, I think it's it, kind of a bad way to play, you know, if you're not going to grind out that area and just going to go to a more dangerous area where you will inevitably die much quicker and likely not amass anywhere near as much gold. Um, namely being the, either the Land of Darkness or the Maya. Because frankly, I think the Maya is nearly as hard as the Land of Darkness. I don't think the enemies are as tough. You know, it's not... It's not like I'm saying that the Maya is strong, is harder than the Land of Darkness or anything like that. Um, even just from my level perspective, that's that's incorrect. But I also think the enemies in the Land of Darkness are also quite tough. Uh, with that said, I whoa, that's some more big thunder. We got a siphon room for our cape. Not something I care all that much about, but you know, hey, at least we've gotten it off the uh, loot tally. Take out this mage. I don't remember what I was saying, but you know, I'm sure it wasn't important. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what it was, and I totally can't remember. We don't need that health, so let's leave it. Take out that wolf. We have another hidden chest up here, which is great. I was kind of hoping that we would get this kind of thing, uh, where, you know, we were finding lots of fairy chests. And, uh, you know, that potentially being a dwarf would help us out. Uh, being a dwarf hasn't really helped us out that much, but at the same time, uh, we, we found a lot of hidden rooms. And, you know, if there are any dwarven chests that we uh, can reach, I'll be very happy that we, you know, went in as a dwarf. Not too hard to please. 
Oh, don't want to leave behind that 15 gold. We're already up to 7,200 gold. Uh, so, you know, we've made some good progress on the forest. Uh, we still do not need those statues. Uh, might as well hit this one, though, which I didn't even notice I left behind. There was a lot of just plain path that way without any uh, side rooms. Bit of backtracking, now we'll go down. Almost hit, get hit by that spike ball, which would not exactly be the best way to do things. Now we'll just take our time and follow a line along this line of bullets. Coming back will be much harder than uh, going in, as you'd expect. Eh, let's just go behind him. Let's take out that Fury. This plant guy as well, another Fury for the road. He's gonna attack, but that's not a problem. Since we do deal with them in one hit, they don't really scare me. Our attack power is getting pretty respectable. Uh, I would love to get a, another sword upgrade, though, uh, for the final boss. I do think that... Uh, I, I think we're two tiers out from the max on our sword, uh, which is, you know, definitely... Maybe not the best equipment to be fighting the final boss with. I'll just say that. Uh, we can definitely increase our... Uh, the equipment that we're carrying. Uh, we did just have something explode in gold there, and I don't know why, but, you know, I don't have a problem with that. Oh, jeez. For some reason, I thought I could jump over that and get behind him and just, you know, get all fancy, but that wasn't the best way to do things. But not a problem, because, again, uh, one hit doesn't exactly mean our doom in the forest. Uh, only in the Land of Darkness is that going, like, a single hit going to be a huge problem. We're going to leave that guy behind and his betting ways. We don't need it, uh, because we're doing quite well, and, you know, we have a 2 out of 3 chance of just losing uh, I think it's 25% of our gold, which we do not want, because we have a ton of gold. Let's get this chest. Okay, I didn't get that chest. I should have stayed on the lower tier, and yeah, that's how I should have done it. Now let's... Wow, I can't believe that I got hit there. I'm doing really poorly. Really poorly. I just got hit three times in that room. That's absolutely pathetic. But that's okay. A couple of turkey legs and a, uh, you know, a bunch of enemies to get, you know, two lifesteal each go. And, uh, you know, it won't be a big problem. Oh. Oh, jeez. Well, that was rough. It's a lot easier going up these than it is going down. More bullets, huh? Alright. Turrets and the walls. The walls have bullets. Well, we were doing really well in the forest until I, you know, got hit in that room like five times. Take the care of the mage before he can throw more of his fire spell. Get him. We can duck under this just to make it easy for ourselves. And miss him twice, but thankfully he didn't hit us. Take care of that wolf. Uh, those wolves are much harder. There is a dwarven drop here. Oh, but that's not really... I mean, I guess we can use it, but it's not going to help us out a lot. Uh, in fact, we're going to go back this way anyway, because I want to, uh, you know, try to loot everything I can. So, in fact, it didn't really help us at all. But, you know, there's scenarios where it might have. Uh, we can go up, down, and to the right. Uh, for now, let's just go down. Oh, there's a dwarven room. I'm now happy that I'm a dwarf. This is the kind of room that I was, uh, you know, wanting to be a dwarf for. And we did get uh, probably an extra 400, 500, 600 gold there. Something like that. Ooh. Ow. Those slimes can be tricky sometimes. I need to stop taking damage on a, such a consistent basis. We were doing really well for a while, and... Now I'm just flubbing it up. And also, we were getting a lot of turkey legs, turkey legs when we did not need them. And now that I do need them, they're nowhere to be found. Go figure, right? I hope we can get a couple of more dwarvish rooms uh, that we couldn't enter if we did not have the trait of dwarfism. That would be awesome. Let's go up here. We have another princess journal. Remember, we've already seen the final one, but let's keep reading. Oh. Okay, apparently we have all of the journal entries now. Uh, but I don't remember which one we left off on. What was it, 18? Yeah, he beat the Beast of the Tower before. 19. I've been standing outside the dungeon gate for longer than I care to admit. 
my courage has finally been sapped, for I've spied the monsters below and they make my previous struggles laughable in comparison. I must steel myself, I must focus. There is no are there so little light down there, I fear I may lose myself. Alright, so he's losing his nerve, but uh, we already know, obviously, thank you for the turkey leg, uh, that he gets his courage back, and, you know, not only that, but he, you know, manages to overcome and uh, is a real dick for us later. He got hit there, which I kind of thought that, oh, we have this dwarvish passage, so that'll work out for us, but no, it didn't. Uh, you know, if we come across another journal room, then we will read another journal entry, but not exactly a priority for me now, because we know the fate of his adventure. Let's get this guy from... Wow, he took more than one hit. I didn't expect that, and completely set myself up to take damage. Wow, okay, that was a strange little loop that he went into there. Come on. Some gold... I should be using my chakram a bit more as well, just to make things easier for myself. So we're gonna do that right now, since I, you know, just said it. We'll get this treasure chest, and now we are actually we were already over to ten thousand gold, but uh, you know now we're almost at ten thousand five hundred gold. Keep it coming. That's all I have to say to that. I definitely feel like you know the fact that we can't one shot a level thirty. Headless Horse to kind of be an indicator that we definitely need more attack power. Uh, oh jeez, did not see the second one uh, trying to attack me. That definitely came as a surprise to me. Take care of that Fury. Now we will get this Earth Mage, because he's a real dick. We'll come back to that, Mr. Bones. There is more Thunder outside, and I got hit again. I really, really need to stop that, because we are going to be entering the Maya at any time now. And I think that's, yeah, I think that's actually it for the forest, so... No, wait, okay, there's another room up here. I thought that was it, but I was wrong. There's one last room here, but we do have a treasure chest in it, which I like quite a bit. Okay, are you stuck in a loot? Oh, you tricked me, you dick. Okay. Well, that's okay. We did get even more gold. We're almost to 11,500 gold now. And we're done with the forest, right? I'm pretty sure that we are. Actually, we should use the boss room to warp back to the entrance, I think. Because I think the entrance of the Maya is quite a ways back. Yeah, it is. We'll be better off going back to the, um, to the manor via teleport. Uh, this is... No, wait, wait. The better way would be to go back here. And go up then go to the left, I believe. Oh, there's no door there. Never mind. I thought there was a door there that connected them, but there's not, so that's not even an option. But that's okay. Not a big deal. Okay, nothing now that in that tree branch, but that's not a problem either. Uh, okay, we'll go up. One more room, then we go up in here. I'm wrong, because there's no connector. Well, wow, I have to go all the way around. Actually, I don't think that any longer that going through the teleporter is going to be the best way to go. I didn't realize that that room didn't connect either. I just kind of assume these things, and uh, then it doesn't turn out to be the case. Just take it slow and casual. So we've lost half our health, over half our health, which I do not do not like even one bit, considering that we are about to enter the Maya, which is a very dangerous area for us even now. We should not have taken that much damage in the forest, but we did. And uh, so it goes sometimes, you know? This music is, like, getting nostalgic. <laughs> okay. We should have all the enemies dead in here, so we can just... You know, go ahead without worrying too much. Though that is a Doom boss, it's... Wow, that thunder. That actually startled me quite a bit. But, um, yeah, that Doom Boss actually is, um, uh, you know, I, I thought that it was probably a Doom Boss, but I wasn't 100% sure. Uh, but, oh my god, really? Okay, this is a terrible start. This is why I hate the Maya, man. There's, it seems like the rooms are just absolutely vicious in the Maya, like, 90% of the time. 
rooms are just designed to be complete dicks. Okay, we took out him. Uh, let us try to go upward. Yeah, we can do that. Let's hit this guy one hit at a time. No problem. And go. Ah, use the chakra. Oh, great. Well, we're not long for this world. Man, that was great. Just, I think I've taken, like, at least one hit on every single room we've been to thus far. Um, two on every room with, like, real enemies. So this is just going awful. It speaks to my level of skill. That's really all I can say about that. Okay, we'll take out this rage. Thankfully, you know, this was a easy room where we only had to deal with one enemy. Which I quite appreciate. I would love to get to the boss room for a guaranteed, oh, not these guys again. We've already fought them once. And at this point, with this little HP, they will completely slaughter me. So we are not going to worry about uh, fighting them again. Actually, no, okay, that wasn't something I could slash. Uh, we don't need to worry about the platform here, so we're not going to, because that would just make it more difficult for us. Get out of the way of the ninja stars. We got a bit more gold. What's down here? Defeat all enemies. Uh, we cannot get this. This is why I would like a, a, um, a flame barrier spell, because then we could take out those rooms as well. That's why that would kind of be the ideal... Uh, run for me as a farmer would be a spelunker with the flame barrier along with oh man huh. along with being a dwarf of course as I am now as I've mentioned okay we'll take care of this mage which I really wish took two hits at most but uh, we're now getting to the point where our attack power is a little bit uh, understated for sure uh, this room is really dangerous yeah, he can just walk towards us, too. Uh, can we chakra him? To cheese him out a little bit? Go! Okay, forget him. Uh, we even got the chest, so I want nothing to do with him. We got another turkey leg! Uh, we're actually making a bit of a comeback here. I mean, that's not to say that, you know, we couldn't easily uh, get turned around and have things go terribly very quickly. Defeat all enemies. This is not the kind of room that I want right now. But we will give it the old college try. Shoot! Okay, good. We defeated two enemies so far. This rocket launcher is not going to be too difficult so long as we are smart about it. Uh, are those going to be doomscapes? Let's find out. Okay, we have two doomscapes. We're going to defeat them one at a time. So, our doom trits, not doomscapes. I think those are either on the forest or in the Land of Darkness, I don't remember which. Okay, come at me, bro! Got him. Okay, uh, we did it! We got a haste rune for our chest plate, which is something I've been begging for. Uh, I want to know what a sprint rune is as well, though. That room uh, offers absolutely nothing for us. So now we'll go this way and then head down, I think, right? Yeah, we'll head down and to the right first. But I'm very interested to see what we uh, will get from the Sprint Rune. And of course the Haste Rune is something that I want to equip, assuming that the Sprint Rune isn't, you know, uh, something better. I mean, because it sounds like it would be the same thing. Yeah, we don't care about that guy. Though I actually uh, just re-entered the room I left. 